In part one of this series, I need to learn to weld. I need to weld because I need to be able to make the tools that I need to recycle plastic, which are a plastic shredder and a plastic injection machine, both of which I'll talk more about in upcoming videos. The reason I want to bring you along as I learn to weld is because I want to dispel any notion that I have all the tools ready to go and knowledge that I need to do this. Making is learning and anyone can learn. So I thought I'd bring you along as I learn how to weld. Towards the end of this video, I've compiled a list of beginner tips from a beginner. But for now, here's what you'll need to get started. and with a little bit of angle grinding, it was ready to be welded. So that's basically everything you need to be able to weld on your own. So I'm gonna get into it, and then at the end, I'll show you how I learned and what I learned in the process. So let's just start welding. pretty at all, but slowly as I progressed, they started to get better, and I feel like now I have enough experience under my belt to go ahead and start building the tools I need to build. Before the next video is where I start building out the tools, I just wanted to quickly give some tips that helped me out and that I found along the way as I made some mistakes. In addition to that, I'll also talk about the tools that I used that could help a beginner like me. The first tip is safety. I don't know why, but I went into this one with a lot of nerves. I've been building things for a while, but there's something about a 3,000 degree puddle of metal that's just melting and moving and sparking that made me nervous. And so I don't think I can overstate safety. Please make sure you research, watch videos, and learn about all of the safety tips and safety necessities when it comes to welding. That brings me to my second tip. Watch YouTube videos. There are so many professionals on YouTube teaching people how to weld. I'm the definition of a beginner, so my tips can only go so far. So I linked some of my favorite YouTube videos below that I use to learn how to weld. Oh, and with that, read the instruction manual. Every welder is different, and the settings change based on the material that you're working with. So even though you may never read instruction manuals, please read the instruction manual that comes with your welder. And that brings me to my last and final tip, probably the most important piece for me in this entire process. Phone a friend. Just because I have a friend who knows how to weld super well, I was able to learn how to weld. If it weren't for like 12 phone calls with him, I guarantee you I wouldn't have been able to put down even a semi-decent. Now I just want to quickly take a second to talk about some of the tools that helped me in the process. Obviously the first is the Forney Easy Weld. I chose this because it's branded for makers. This is not the best welder for people who weld all the time. But for someone like me, who's a hobbyist, who's just gonna do this randomly in his garage, this is not only an affordable welder, but it's also super user friendly. I also love to support local. And since I'm in Denver, and this company is based out of Fort Collins, I was super stoked to be able to support them. The second tool was my auto darkening helmet. Now basically all that means is that when I'm not welding, I can actually still see through the lens. If you get just a regular welding helmet, you can't see any time unless you're welding. As a beginner, I found the auto darkening feature incredibly helpful since I was able to see where I was going and as soon as I started to weld, it darkened up and protected my eyes. The auto darkening is a little bit more expensive, but I found it to be well worth the extra $20. The next was an angle grinder. To clean up your welds, you can use just a wire brush and a chipping hammer, which I also used, but an angle grinder makes super quick work of it and gives you versatility beyond just cleaning up a weld. Oh, 
And I got my angle grinder on offer up from a guy who was drunk one night and decided to sell his tools. So I got a super nice angle grinder for $20. The next tool I have to mention is simply body protection. For my upper body, I used welding gloves and 100% cotton flannel. Basically, while working with such hot metal, you have to ensure that you're protecting yourselves. This blew my mind. The light that you're making while welding is so bright that if you don't wear long sleeves, you'll actually give yourself a sunburn. This goes back to the first tip, safety. Some other tools I absolutely needed as a beginner were clamps and magnets. I needed my hands and my mind free to focus on the weld. Because of that, clamps and magnets held my pieces in place and I was able to focus. The last tool is a welding tool called Welpers. Welpers are basically just the Swiss army knife of wire cutters. I haven't come to need every single piece on them yet, but the biggest need was a wire cutter. I don't know about the others, but with flux core MIG welding, you absolutely need wire cutters because if you ever lead the wire too far out, you just have to snip it off. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for joining me as I learned how to weld. I hope the tips and tools were helpful. If you have other tips, I'd love to see them in the comments below. And if you wanna follow along in the process of learning how to make a completely recycled disc, go ahead and subscribe here or follow me on Instagram at Trash Panda Disc Golf. In the next video, we're gonna start making a shredder to shred recycled plastic. Until next time.